Hey everybody, welcome back to the Urban Aviary. Apologize for the bad lighting, I'm just here in my garage tonight, I wanted to shoot a quick video. Um, I want to show you guys real quick, I showed you the temp stick I'm using to monitor via Wi-Fi my incubator. I'll show this to you real quick. That's the guy. It's about the size of a Twinkie. Um, but I wanted to tell you guys something kind of cool about it. So, I first plugged it in day five or day six. Um, I got a notification to my phone saying that the temperature had dropped and it was down to like 94. And so I was like, oh my gosh, what's going on? I called my wife and she hadn't thought to think about, she didn't think about this, but the power was out. She said, yeah, the power's out. That's probably why. And I was like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm, I'm glad that, <laughs> that it, I had this because that saved my butt. I was able to rush home. I wasn't far, very far away. My wife could have done this too. But if you have somebody close by to, to do something like this, you can get it hooked up to a power inverter um, in your car, your running car. That's what I was able to do. Hook up a power inverter, turn the car on, run it. It's basically a huge generator and plug the incubator in until the power came on uh, a few hours later. So that saved my butt. I, something I always suspected could be happening. Maybe a reason some people are getting bad hatch rates, but... Um, I was kind of surprised it happened the very first time I ever used it. Um, the second time was with this. So this system right here, this is my reservoir for my incubator. And that actually got clogged. Um, it got some hard water deposits in it and I had no idea that the reservoir was full and that was perfectly fine. Um, but the line was clogged. So I got a notification saying humidity had dropped and I was able to figure out that that was clogged and I actually had to rebuild the whole system. That's a new bucket, new lines, new everything. Um, so it monitored the humidity and the temperature and saved my butt on both of them and on the very first hatch I ever used them on. That makes me you know, wonder how, how often stuff like that happens. If that gets clogged and halfway through the incubation process it clears itself out and then fills up and you, you, know, you don't know if you're not out there checking all the time. It's kind of nice this is makes it a more a little more set it and forget it and you know you're gonna get notifications when things are going on um, so I thought this thing proved itself to me pretty well so I reached out to that company and we're actually in the works of making a version of this for incubators specifically um, with a with an app that's you know possibly gonna have some other features to help track hatches and things like that um, we'll see how in-depth that we get with that but uh, yeah, that's that's now in the works. Um, this thing has proved itself to me. I think this is going to be something really cool for for you guys to uh, be able to get your hands on. Until then, we are actually going to give away some of these temp sticks. I've got some here on hand, and I'm going to do some giveaways and give them away to you guys. Um, one of those will be coming up soon, so make sure you hit that um, the subscription or the subscribe button and if you haven't hit the notification bell to make sure you're getting notifications because here soon we'll be giving some away maybe also over on the Facebook page so go to the Urban Aviary um, Facebook forum make sure you're you're on there and we'll be giving away a few of these so make sure to watch out for that and and I'll keep you posted in the future on the the uh, version that will be coming out specifically for incubators. So that's all there is for this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and then hit the notification bell so you can get uh, notified about these giveaways we're going to do for the, be doing for these temp sticks. And remember, until that next video, you guys can do this too.